Hi guys, I'm Oluwa Tobi Jetro and thank you for always supporting my channel and for being an amazing viewer. I love you all. Today, I'm going to be taking you through a list of cheap cars you should never buy. I mean, these cars are damn unreliable and are really bad, but they are very cheap and Nigerians love it when it's cheap, which is why I've compiled a list of these popular used cars you should avoid like a plague. Please subscribe if you haven't and do turn on the notification bell to get alerts of new uploads. Without much ado, let's dive straight into the video. Surprise right? If you want a good reliable missile sedan in this year range, buy a Toyota. But I know a lot of people will definitely roast me for this. This generation Honda is a must avoid. Though good looking and desirable by Nigerians, the EOD is prone to regular transmission failures, usually with the automatic. Most of these on the Nigerian road have their check engine light on and must have had one or two engine and transmission swap. The suspension are stiff and gets wound up easily. If you want a good reliable missile sedan for this generation, a Toyota Camry is definitely a better option. This big V8 Nissan SUV is a nightmare you want to avoid at all costs. The first generation Amandas have a widespread report of brake and transmission failure. The 5.6 liter V8 is also unreliable and often fails, which is why a huge number of these are available for cheap. Imagine buying a big V8 powered luxury SUV for 1 million naira and even less. If that doesn't turn you up already, then I don't know what will. The bottom line is stay away. The Freelander is definitely the cheapest Land Rover in the market. In the first place, the modern Land Rover is not a brand associated with reliability and will definitely not go gentle on your pocket in cost repairs. Except you love taking challenges actually, then the Freelander is a car you must avoid. Clean examples of this are overly available for cheap, but don't let that tempt you. You will surely regret it. Do I really need to still tell you not to buy a Nissan Murano? <laughs> You don't know, you don't know why it's going on. <laughs> the Nissan Murano screams on reliability. At least you will find an example or even two parked in a mechanic workshop in Nigeria. The Murano is a technical nightmare. The CVT transmission in the Murano often fails. It has extreme rust issues and excessive oil consumption. In addition, gaskets are prone to failure, usual seal leakage, and a host of other problems. This is one car you will not want to mess around if you value your peace of mind. Brand. The Volkswagen Golf are non reliable and long lasting cars, but that's not entirely true, especially with the MK3 and MK4, usually the automatic transmission. The manual drive are quite okay, but the automatic version of this generation Golf fails quite often, with major reports of the car getting stuck in park. So, if you still want to go with the Golf, then stay in the safe zone, stick to the manual. Trust me, I personally love this car. I love the design, the powertrain and those gigantic wheels. I have personally driven one and boy oh boy, this car moves. Na machine and it sounds insane. Take a listen. But at the same time, this is a money pit. It's literally impossible to find one of these on the road lately. They are all in a mechanic workshop. Everyone who owns one is putting them up for sale and they are pretty damn cheap. But this is one of those cars you will want to own if you are called out for crazy repairs and maintenance fees. And finally, the 607 is Pujo's attempt into the executive luxury sedan scene. But it didn't do too well in the market. The manual version is quite on the easy side, not entirely reliable, but the automatic 607 fails and costs a fortune to repair. Parts are scarce and expensive, and general liability is on the low term. So, only one of these in Nigeria is a really bad decision. The 406 and 407 are more desirable if you really desire this generation Pujo vibe. The 607 is cheap, and clean examples are selling for way below 1 million naira. If the offer is tempting, my brother, those are your village people at work. Again, run. So there you go. To avoid regrets and see finish, please add air and stay off the cars on this list. But if you have a contrary opinion and experience, please drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao.